So let me show you the top knot, how to do that real quick. Um, here your braiding gets a little bit more complex because you're doing French braids, but it's still pretty easy. So you start at the top with just, hi, hi, I know. So the small pieces, and then most of you probably know about French braid. You just incorporate more of the main as you go down. So each time you cross over, you take another piece add it in. And again, you just want to, every time you do more of the braid, you want to be pulling and making it nice and tight. You're not losing your braid. But you're still going to work in your thread at the bottom, just like we did with all the other braids. going to go to about there. It's just what I did with the other ones. And then I take my pull through all the way from the top up here and get my thread. And I pull it all the way up through the top. And so basically, what I'm, I just pull it all the way up until it's right below, until the knot, the knot that's holding the bottom of the braid is kind of right underneath the surface, so you can't really see it. And then I split the, split the two pieces of thread, stick my pull through through the middle of the braid, put my one piece of thread in the pull through, and pull up so it comes out the middle. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then from there, I'm just going to tie it right in the middle. And that is your finished nice French braid. As long as it's tight, you can still make it look very um, very put together, so.